Hey, welcome back to Rob's Garage Woodworking. Today I'm going to show you how to waterproof your tin shed at the base using this window and door cap. And you'll find this in the siding section. So the frame of the shed actually sits right on the middle here. And that prevents the water from running down the shed and onto the platform that runs underneath into your shed and it will rot out your base that you just spent all that money making for the stupid shed to keep everything dry. So you can see the light under the door there. Um, that white tape is called Blue Skin Beetle Flash. And I put that there to protect the flooring on the outside because water will sit on it. And turns out water gets right underneath this. So I've raised this up on this beam here. I put a piece of wood underneath and I got another piece of wood that runs up here to support this side and another one to support this end and that's holding this up. While I'm holding this up, I can put this trim underneath it. Anyway, so we cut, we are gonna put this upside down. So this edge here, is going to fit right about here and it will fit under here and any water that runs down into here will be wicked over the edge that's the plan so all right so i'm just going to use some tin snips and i'm going to cut this from this side on a 45 degree angle So hopefully this will work all right. Hopefully I've got the thing jacked up enough. And, oh, that looks perfect. Now I'm gonna measure and cut this end. Okay, so we're just going to measure this to sit beside, and then we'll put some caulking on it. So, put that in, put that up. Okay. So we're going to put caulking on the whole seam, all the way underneath. And down the side. So the best way to do this is when you first put your frame down, put this down with your frame. Size it up, bolt it in, uh, sorry, size it up, screw it in, and then set your frame into it. And the frame will sit over top of this piece. It'll be over top but that will keep all the water from running down here out of your shed. So it won't be able to go underneath. It will only be able to run out over the edge. All right, so that's how you waterproof the base of these sheds. Um, in my opinion, this is probably the easiest way. So after we do this side, then we'll get the other board and put it and this end, lift up that end, and then we'll put the board here and here, and lift up this side, and then once that side is done, and we'll put the boards back on this end, the door end, lift that up, and we'll put the uh, waterproofing underneath that as well. All right? All right. So I line the board up at the bottom with the beam. And I put it up here like this. Put the board underneath it to distribute the weight. I uh, keep it away from the edge so I don't want it to uh, prevent the, the shed from lifting up. So keep it away from the base a little bit. Line that up, line this up with here. And then we're gonna lift it up and push until the side lifts up like so. Once it's lifted up, 
then we can put our trim underneath it. All right, so the last part we got to deal with is there's these three drain holes by the door. There's one here, one in the middle, then one over here. And you can see this whole thing gets full of dirt real quick. Um, and the other problem here is there's a bit of a step down to the rest of the, uh, the framing here. As you can see, this is the stuff that we put in, right? So it goes to about here. It runs halfway. So that's basically where it ends up. It ends up underneath here, which is fine for the outside. It's fine for the outside part, but for the door, it's not deep enough. And unfortunately, there wasn't one that was deep enough. So we have to drain this out without, because what will happen is the water will come in through the drains and then it will leak onto the floor here and run into the shed. And that's what's been happening. So we're going to drill some drain holes. So you're going to drill a pilot hole close to the end, then one in the middle, and one on the other side. Slowly increase the size of your drill bits. The biggest drill bit that fits in my cordless drill. So we're going to try to file down this edge a little bit. Because we want to, we want the water to go into that. So, so because this board is just board and it will rot, what we want to do is put a little bit of caulking in there, and we're going to try to um, protect the board with the caulking. So we're not closing the hole here. What we're doing is we're going to use this little piece of scrap here, and we're going to try to rub the caulking around on this. <laughs> Now it sounds funny. And protect the wood. Alright, so it gives it a nice coating of protection. So get that in as good as you can. Alright, so now we're going to take the excess off from around the hole. Alright, you want the water to get right in there. And then what we want to do put a barrier here so the water doesn't run out so just a small basically it's just a dam you're just making a little a little dam here so that the water won't run back in here you want it to go into the hole right. and last but not least we have these three holes that uh, we're supposed to drain in, but that's on the other side of our um, that's on the other side of our window and door trim. So we don't want water getting in there because it will just leak onto the floor. So we're gonna block those with some caulking, and because the door runs along here, this got to be sort of smooth. All right, so basically that's it. That's the upgrades for my shed. I just wanted to share those with you and uh, you know, hopefully that helps you out. And thanks for watching.